There are very few things I don't like about the Hermes Kelly bag, but this is definitely on the top of my list. Hi guys, my name is GPS and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with another Hermes hack video as we'll be discussing five different ways on how you can extend the strap of your Hermes Kelly bags. But obviously you can apply these to any other Hermes or non-Hermes or even non-designer bag that you have in your collection. But the reason why I'm headlining this video with the Kelly bag is because it's probably one of the toughest bags to find a replacement or an alternative strap for, considering that each element on the Kelly bag, especially when it comes to the Mini Kelly, is so specifically designed and so unique to these bags that there really aren't many options out there. But thankfully I have found some great solutions to lengthen the strap of your Kelly bags, mainly for more comfort. So if you want to hear about my tips, then please keep on watching. There are a few different variations of straps that Hermes bags come with, but the two main uh, straps that we'll be focusing on today are the straps that come with the Kelly bags. And there are two main types of straps. One of them is the one that comes with the Mini Kelly, which is a little bit thinner and the hardware is smaller than it is on the strap that comes with every single other Kelly bag, which as you guys can see, it's a little bit thicker and the hardware is also a little bit larger. But what makes these straps really unique is the fact that they come with this quite interesting rounded hook hardware, which is one that I don't think any other brand out there creates. I'm not sure if this shape is something that is trademarked by Hermes and if they are the only brand that can use it or what's really the reason behind this, but this is really one of the only brands that creates a hardware similar to this. So today, instead of focusing on what fashion houses you can go to to pick up a replacement strap for your Kelly, I thought I would share a couple of tips with you on how I make these work, just so you don't have to go out and buy an additional strap. Obviously it is an option, but today we'll be focusing on how you can make these a little bit longer in case you want to wear your back crossbody, or if you find that this is just a little bit short for you and it's not very comfortable. Because the standard length of a Kelly strap is 85 centimeters, which I think is a decent length. It's not too short and it's not too long, but for most people, it would be quite uncomfortable to wear this crossbody. I think if you're really petite or if you are really narrow shouldered, you might be able to make it work without it being too uncomfortable. But I think for most people out there, or at least I can definitely speak for myself, it would be quite uncomfortable. So today I'll be sharing with you five tips that I use to make the strap of my Kelly bags longer especially on my Mini Kelly, which is one that I love wearing crossbody. Obviously you can go to Hermes and ask for a replacement strap, which I will be sure to share my experience on. But first, let's get creative and see how we can extend the strap on our bags without really having to buy too many new things. The first trick is the one that I use most often. Pretty much this is the only way I carry my Mini Kellys and it has been for the past, I wanna say two or three years at this point and it's by adding a Be Happy onto my Mini Kelly and attaching the strap to this bracelet. You guys know that I'm the biggest fan of the Be Happy bracelet. I think it's one of those pieces from our math that if you have in your collection, the options of what you can do with it are pretty much endless. You can wear it with the most simple outfit and it's immediately going to make it look so much more put together. You can add it onto bags, you can add it onto wallets as an accessory. I even talked about the Be Happy bracelet in my previous Kelly wallet video, which I think we can take quite a few tips from, but I've tried to focus on some different tips in this video. But I think the Be Happy bracelet is overall just an incredible Hermes investment. And it's really a great piece to either start your collection with or add it to your collection later on because even though it's such a simple design, it's going to come in handy more times than you would think. So let me show you exactly how I do this. So the way I go about doing this, trust me, I have this down because I've been doing this for almost two years, is that you want to create a little curve on the end of your Be Happy bracelet. So it goes underneath the little part where the strap would go to a little bit easier. And then it's quite simple once you have that down, you just pull the Be Happy through and then you fasten it. It's really as simple as this. And then you would directly attach the other end of the strap to your mini Kelly. And this is it, it's really as simple as that. You can just add a Be Happy onto your bag and you're good to go. And what I really like about this trick is the fact that it's completely customizable because the Be Happy is not only available in a bunch of different colors and sizes, 
but also length. So if you want to add just a little bit of extra length to your strap, you can just buy one that's a so-called single tour, which means that it only goes around your wrist once. So obviously it's not going to add that much to the strap. But then if you need one that adds quite a bit, you can buy a double tour, which is obviously going to make your strap much, much longer. So it's really customizable. You can pick these up in a color that matches the bag. You can pick it up in a color that complements it and maybe makes it a little bit more colorful. But to be honest, you're not really going to see the be happy when you're wearing the bag because the way, at least the way I style it, is that I usually put it on the back of my bag. So if I'm wearing my back crossbody like this, this part is going to fall under my arm, so it's not really obvious. You cannot really see it. It's been pointed out to me many, many times when I took my bag off and people noticed that there is something on it that they would have never been able to tell. So it's really an easy and simple trick that you can do. The Be Happy bracelet is something that you might already have in your collection, or even if you don't, it's a piece that you can pick up either secondhand or even from the store. It's I would call it a reasonably priced piece if you compare it to the prices of other Hermes pieces. And as I mentioned, this trick doesn't really damage the leather of the Be Happy bracelet. So you don't have to worry about, you know, completely damaging it and not being able to use it for what it is, which is a bracelet. You can wear it as a bracelet one day and then the next day you can put it onto this bag because it's really so simple. But there is a horror story that I want to share with you because I want to let you know that you should always try these tricks for yourself and see how they work out for you. Because while I use every single one of these, I've only really ever had one accident, but that one was pretty bad. I was walking down Fifth Avenue wearing this particular bag with my Be Happy on it. And when I put the bag on over my shoulder, I didn't check the Be Happy bracelet. You always want to make sure that it's as tight as it possibly can be because if you put it down and it's sitting on your shelf or wherever you keep your bags, the Be Happy bracelet might come loose and you always want to make sure when you put it on that it's really, really tightly uh, fastened. Nothing can really happen while you're wearing the bag because the weight of the bag will pull the bracelet down. So if it was tight when you put it on, it's going to remain like that. But I was walking down Fifth Avenue, I put the bag over my shoulder, I didn't check the Be Happy bracelet and I just felt something on my feet and I didn't really realize what it was for a couple of seconds until I saw my bag fly through Fifth Avenue in the air land on the pavement and then basically go for another half a block on the pavement on its front so thankfully as you guys can see nothing really happened to the bag because it's Epsom and it shows how durable the leather is the only thing that I could notice when I picked up the bag is that the hardware was slightly scratched, but it could have been so much worse. But when I picked up my bag, my heart almost stopped. I was so nervous that my bag got completely damaged. And at the same time, I was so thankful that I was wearing an Epsom bag, not a piece in Exotics, for example, in Matt Alligator, because that bag would have been done right there. But I wanted to make sure that I tell you this story in case you're nervous about this. Make sure you try it yourself, try it on at your apartment, always make sure that it's fastened really well because accidents can happen and I wanted to share it with you in case you are worried about your bag, which you should be, obviously you should really take care of these. But um, in case you're nervous about it, it might not be the best option for you, but there will be plenty more in this video. But to be honest, I've been using this trick for, as I mentioned, almost two or three years. And an accident like that has only happened to me one time. And let's hope it was the first and last time. But I wanted to make sure that I share that with you. But in case that puts you off of trying to be happy bracelet, there is another leather bracelet that I really enjoyed for a while, which is the Paddock one. It's from the men's collection. And I did use that on um, a different mini Kelly of mine and it worked perfectly. It's already packed so I cannot show you, but I put a picture of it up here. It's a great bracelet and the reason why I think it might be even better than the Be Happy bracelet is because you're not attaching the strap to the fastening itself because there's an additional little hole on it that you can attach the strap to. So the fastening is pretty much untouched if you are worried about putting too much weight on it or if you're worried about you moving around with the strap affecting how the bracelet holds up then that one is a little bit better in that sense. So I make sure to leave the exact name of that bracelet down below. You should also check that one out. But to be honest, I have been really, really happy with this and I do continue to use this every single time I take out my Mini Kelly, 
regardless of that one accident. Now the next trick is for you if you're really into accessorizing your bags because this is not only a great solution to extend your strap in a really secure manner considering that you're using a metal piece but it also adds a touch of fun and luxury to your bag depending on what piece you choose. But my next trick is to add a back charm to your Hermes Kelly to extend your strap. But the two back charms that I actually have in mind and would recommend in particular are the Olga back charm and the Louis Vuitton back charms. The Olga back charm is one that has sadly been discontinued by Hermes. I have no idea why because it was an extremely popular piece but it has been discontinued for a few years now and I really wish it was brought back. But that's definitely a piece that I would recommend. It's something that you can pick up on the pre-love market or it might be something that you already have in your collection if you have been collecting your mask for a few years. And then the other one that I would highly recommend, which is quite similar to the Olga, is by Louis Vuitton. They come out with new fun and fresh designs each season and some of them are quite funky and quite playful, whereas some of them are a little bit more plain. And what the two charms have in common, I mean the Olga and the Louis Vuitton back charms, is on one side they have something that almost looks like a keyring, and then on the other side they have a little clasp or a little hook. And what I would recommend that you do is that you add the hook onto the metal piece that is attached to your Kelly bag, and you would attach the strap to the keyring, and it's really just a fun and creative way of making your strap a little bit longer. It's also quite secure considering that you're using a metal piece and you don't have to worry about it coming loose because you're attaching it by a hook on one side and then you're using the keyring and your actual back strap on the other. So I would say it's probably one of the most secure ways of extending your straps, but it's also a lot of fun at the same time. The next step is for you if you absolutely love fine jewelry and you want to go all out. And what I have done a couple of times is that I added a piece of gold or silver bracelet onto my Kelly bags to make the straps a little bit longer. Now the piece that I have here is in rose gold and it's from the Hermes Punk collection which has this little safety pin design on the front and I really do like this because it makes your bag a little bit more fun and it also features kind of a cool and youthful design from Hermes but I do have to warn you that this is really thin so if you're going to use this trick you might want to go for a bracelet that's a little bit thicker than this because this is quite dainty but let me show you what I do. So what you would do is you would essentially use this part on the Hermes bracelet to push it underneath the hardware of your Kelly bag and then you use this ring to attach the strap to this. Obviously, if you go for gold, they're going to be a little bit more expensive and you might not want to invest that much money, especially if you're only going to use it for extending your back strap. So two that I would recommend from the silver collection, which you can either put on gold bags as they are, or you can have them gold plated by any jeweler out there. The one that I really enjoy is the Alpha Kelly bracelet, which I think is so much fun. It features the little Kelly lock which is actually something that you don't get with your mini Kelly. So it can be a way of adding that to this particular bag. And it's really easy to add it onto your bag because the lock actually opens up. You can attach that to this part of your Kelly bag. And then on the other end, there is a little ring that you can secure your strap to. So that's one of my favorite pieces. Or you can also try this trick with the new Ferrandol bracelet. I think that's literally what it's called. I think it's called the new Ferrandol which is definitely thicker than this. So it's going to give you a little bit more of peace of mind that you don't have to worry about this coming off or ever breaking. But I have a feeling that the fastening on that piece is a little bit thicker. So it might be too bulky to put it on the mini Kelly, but it would certainly work really, really well with let's say a Kelly 25 or a Kelly 28. Now what happens if you're simply not interested in being creative with your bags, you want to just go out there, buy a strap and use that considering that it's going to give you the most peace of mind when it comes to carrying your bag crossbody, where would you go? So obviously you can go to Hermes, which I will definitely move on to. But another alternative that I wanted to mention to you, which I have actually been really happy with, is going to buy straps from Etsy. Now, you might not be familiar with Etsy. They're basically a platform that sells a plethora of different items. And the whole concept behind Etsy is, I think the fact that most of their vendors are people who make things out of their homes. They definitely have products that are more professionally made and there are things that are very proud to be homemade. 
But it's so interesting because you wouldn't necessarily think of Etsy as a resource to buy accessories for your Hermes bags. But actually my most favorite bag insert comes from Etsy. And I know I have been promising you guys a video on bag inserts. I promise you it's coming. But before I make that video, I wanted to try as many inserts as possible. And with everything going on in the world, there were quite a few delays with shipping. But I think I'm coming to a good conclusion. So I promise that video is coming. And I'm not sure if I should be giving it away, but my most favorite insert is from Etsy. And um, when I was scrolling through Etsy to see if they have any straps, I came across a couple that actually worked out really well for my larger Kellys. I haven't found one that I think would go really well with the mini Kelly, because most of the ones that you can find on Etsy come with a little bit of a larger hardware that you can definitely squeeze onto the mini Kelly, but I think it would look a little bit out of place. But in case you're looking for a strap for a larger Kelly, they have plenty of straps out there for you to choose from. And if you're looking for a strap for your mini Kelly, I would recommend that you look at their straps that are made for Louis Vuitton bags, because Louis Vuitton bags also have a little bit of a thinner hook, which I think would make it easier for you to put those on a mini Kelly. And lastly, let's talk about straps that you can pick up from Hermes. So obviously, as you know, Hermes has been making longer straps for a couple of years now. You can walk into a store and buy a few different designs of straps. Most of them I'm not the biggest fan of, especially the very first one that they came out with, which I think is called the Cabal. I think it's called the Cabal design, which has this very interesting kind of graphic line design on them. Personally, I think it's very out of character for Hermes to make a strap like that. I don't think it's representative of their values, their craftsmanship, their heritage. I'm just not a fan. I know a lot of people enjoy it, but for the price, I think you can buy so many more useful and unique things. When I first saw the strap, I thought it was something that came with maybe an Evelyn bag or something that would go with a more casual piece. Definitely not something that they would recommend to be worn with a Kelly bag. But when I heard the price, I was even more shocked. Those straps cost nearly a thousand dollars, which in my opinion is absolutely ridiculous. If they were $200, maybe 300, maybe I could get on board with it, but not for over a thousand dollars, especially on a Kelly. I don't think they look particularly great. And if you want to add them to a mini Kelly, you will be looking for a strap for a while because most of them only come with this hook, not the mini hook that the mini Kelly comes with. They usually come with the larger hook. They do make them specifically for mini Kellys, but it's much more rare. And while you can squeeze these onto the mini Kelly, it definitely looks much more proportionate if you use the hook that was designed specifically to match the hardware on the mini Kelly. But I just simply don't think that they're worth the money, especially if you look at the design. I'm personally not a fan. I almost bought one a couple of years ago when I got my first mini Kelly and I just simply couldn't bring myself to it, not for over a thousand dollars, especially considering the design. It's just so, I don't know, I just don't think it's representative of Hermes and what they're able to do. But they have started making a couple of different designs. Honestly, none of them have convinced me so far. There was one that I quite liked, which featured a little clochette on it but it is quite similar to the one that I got from Etsy for like $50, which I'm perfectly happy with, but I do like the one with the clochettes. So if you're in the market for a larger, thicker strap for a Kelly bag, you can definitely look into the clochette design. That's my personal favorite, but it's going to set you back about $2,000. And I did actually try it on with my mini Kelly at one point, and it just didn't look great. It was a little bit too overwhelming on the mini Kelly. So, you have fewer options if you're looking to buy a longer strap for the Kelly 22, but you do have options. Now let's talk about what happens if you want to special order a strap for your mini Kelly or really any bag for that matter from Hermes. So Hermes does offer the option for you to custom order a strap for whatever bag you have in your collection. They offer the straps in three different sizes. You can get it in 85 centimeter, which is the traditional one, the one that your bags come with. So obviously I think that is mainly offered to people who might have lost their straps or if they bought a strap maybe second hand, but I'll come to that, it might be a little bit difficult for you to get a strap if you bought your bag pre-loved. They also offer it in 105 centimeter, which is my preferred length. And then it also comes in 120 centimeters, which is pretty long, but I think you would enjoy it if you're a little bit taller or if you want your bag to be hanging quite low if you're wearing it crossbody. 
So you can definitely walk into an Hermes store and request a longer strap for your bag, but it's going to cost you a lot, a lot of money and you need to be really patient. So they usually say that a strap can take, depending obviously on the leather, it can take between nine to 12 months to be delivered. And then if it's made of exotic skin, it can take between two to three years. So you not only need to be patient, but these straps cost anywhere between a thousand to $3,000. And let me tell you that I'm speaking from experience. So I ordered a longer strap, a 105 centimeter strap for my mini Kelly in matte alligator. I believe two years ago at this point. Yes, has it been two years? No, it hasn't. I ordered it about a year and a half ago. And a funny thing happened. I got an email from my essay about six months after we had ordered it, saying that my strap is in store and I can go pick it up. Both my essay and myself were quite shocked that it arrived so fast. And when I went to try it on, I wasn't sure if I should take my bag with me because I can already imagine what it's going to look like. There is no point for me to try it on. But in the end, I did take my bag with me, thankfully, because when I arrived at the store to try it on, they brought out the strap and it looked quite a bit longer than what we expected. So I basically attached it to my bag and my bag was hanging, literally, I'm not kidding you, my bag was literally hanging down by my thigh. And as it turns out, the strap that they sent was not 105 centimeters, but instead they sent a strap that was 150 centimeters. So I'm not sure who was making that strap and who was looking at the numbers of my request, but they made a bit of a mistake. And what's even more crazy about this story is the fact that Hermes doesn't offer straps in 150 centimeters. So it's not like they accidentally sent me someone else's strap and it was supposed to go to someone else, but they literally caught the wrong length of leather. So obviously I was not required to buy that piece. They ended up sending it back to Paris. They initially asked the local craftsman if they, if they could do anything about it, but they said they can't, so it had to be sent back to Paris. And I still haven't heard about what's going on with that strap. But when that strap arrived, if I remember correctly, it would have cost me $3,000 to pick up, which is absolutely insane. Obviously the high ticket price is associated with that because it's made of exotic leather. It's going to cost you a little less if you want to pick it up in regular leather, but it's still absolutely insane. So that's really the reason why I think a lot of people don't just go in and buy a new strap for their bags. First of all, because it takes literally years for you to get it and it costs you over a thousand dollars, which is a lot of money and you can definitely buy better things with that, especially considering that you're paying about $10,000 for one of these bags. So it's just something to keep in mind. It's definitely an option and it's going to be your best option if you know you're going to wear this bag with a longer strap, but you need to be patient and you need to save up for an extra strap. Another option that you have with Hermes is to place a special order for a Kelly bag. And when you're placing a special order, which I have an entire video on, and you're requesting a Kelly bag, Pretty much every single one of them, you have the option to choose the length of strap that you want to come with your bag. So if you're really into crossbody bags, then maybe talk to your essay and see if you could perhaps place a special order for a Kelly bag, because in that case, you do have the option to request a longer strap and you don't have to spend an extra one, two, or maybe even $3,000 to get an additional longer strap for your bag. And this is it guys. This completes my video on how to extend the strap of your Kelly bag. And if you have any questions to me, please make sure. And this is it guys. This completes my video on how to extend the strap of your Kelly bag. I hope you found it helpful and please make sure that you try every single one of these for yourself to make sure that they work for you. But if you have any questions, you can always find me in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.